on this year's community. Welcome to our weekly crypto news and market update video. And we've seen new European Union sanction against the Russian people and Russia. And now that perhaps suspends Russian accounts. So interesting is what we can see over here is that is when we're taking a look on the worldwide financial markets and economics as well. The blockchain technology is a very important instrument in this. So as well, here are sanctions now alive. It's now prohibited to provide crypto asset wallet account or custody services of any value to account with connections to Russia, irrespective of the amount of the wallet. That means all amounts, all wallets are now gone. It's prohibited. It's a new law. The firm Depolabs outlined that it is payment processing and stored value service partner is subject to European regulations. However, Depolabs has not closed the accounts, so they just can use it for the moment. So they are hoping that in the future the sanctions are gone and then the users can use it again. But what we can see here, if you're freezing accounts, you are actively censoring in an industry that was founded around censorship resistance. And here an important point is made. We are not in a time anymore where crypto or digital assets are something for being incognito, for not to be known. Even DeFi is trackable. So people need to change their mind over here. If digital asset wants to become a real long lasting financial instrument, we need to as well play in the games and in the league of the normal assets and in the new topics. So this is quite interesting to see over here that this is the case. So this is quite interesting to understand that we need some kind of regulations in this market. Bitcoin and gold face headwinds amid strengthening US dollars. What we can see over here is the correlation between Bitcoin and gold and a negative correlation is meant that the prices are not having any impact on each other. And now how you can see, we are running up in correlation to gold within the last month and dot three percent or dot three is quite a high correlation already. Bitcoin is down around 70% from highest mark as well. Gold, even in all these crisis times, is down 10%. So quite interesting what we can see here. And the reason why is that the dollar is so strong. People holding dollar on sidechain are not investing. So all markets are tumbling down. And so the correlation is going up. The Euro Parliament members vote in favor of crypto and blockchain tax policies. Quite interesting is here we've seen a resolution that here now is having a new national and so to speak European way of tax and administrations while using blockchain and to have income from blockchain technology. So this is quite interesting because here blockchain's unique features could offer a new way to automate tax collections, limit corruption and better identify ownership of tangible and intangible assets allowing for better taxing mobile tax pays. So this is a huge step into the regulated future and is maybe even giving crypto lovers and people using digital assets an easier way of holding and paying taxes. This is now, so to speak, going through all the departments and could go into effect in 2024. If we take a look on the seven day performance of the movements, we can see there wasn't literally any movements. BNB down a little bit because of the chain problems, Ripple up because there are people gambling because of the SEC and Ripple lawsuit. But all in all, how you can see, no real movement all around and even the market cap not went up that much. So as well here, you can see the chilled week and this week was a consolidation. Did you? If you're taking a look over here, there is nothing we can analyze in Bitcoin at the moment because we're going up to 20K, getting sell-offs, getting back to 19 or 18, 500, and then getting back up, just following the movements of the worldwide stock markets. Because if I'm scrolling out, you can easily see once we're hitting around 20K, we are seeing sell-offs and then running back 
to near 20k. It's nearly always the same and I can scroll out over here and you can see I'm in middle of September and everywhere it's the same. Touching 20k, going down, going up, touching 20k and so on and so forth. So low volatile range, literally no real movement. We definitely can see that the money, the investments are on the side chain and are not invested yet. So we need to wait. We need to concentrate us on what we are seeing here and we are seeing low volatile ups and downs. So here always is a good buy point and near 20k is always a good sell point. I hope you liked this video. If you do so, I would love you to comment, like or share this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by T-Rox.